Hello friends, my name is Ruchika and I welcome you to Success CDs Education. Here is the current affairs and GK multiple choice questions for the month of September 2016. This is the first part of the video where we will cover question number 1 to question number 35. So let's get started. Now let us see the first question. When is the International Democracy Day celebrated? And the correct answer is September 15th. Now let us see some more information about this International Democracy Day. Students, the United Nations General Assembly in the year November 2007 had decided to observe International Democracy Day every year on September 15th. It was observed for the first time in the year 2008. The day is being observed to raise public awareness about the democratic system. The theme for the year 2016 is Democracy and the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Now let's go to the next question. With which country has the USA signed a defense deal for 10 years? Out of these four options, let us see the correct answer. The correct answer is Israel. United States has signed a $38 billion memorandum with Israel to provide the country with military assistance over a 10-year period. This defense deal is the largest such agreement the US has ever had with any country. Now let us see the third question. Which telecommunication company has merged with Reliance Communications? Out of these four given options, let us see the correct answer. The correct answer is Aircel. Now some information about this. Reliance Communications led by Anil Ambani has signed a deal with Maxis Communications Barhad for merger of its wireless business of the company Aircel Limited with itself. The merged company will have second largest spectrum holding amongst all operators in the country. Arcom and MCB will hold a 50% stake each in the merged entity with equal representation on the board of directors and all committees. The company will be managed by an independent professional team under the supervision of the board. Now let us see the question number four. Name the Indian-born innovator and scientist who has won the prestigious 2016 Lemson MIT Prize. Out of these four given options, students, the correct answer is Ramesh Raskar. Let us see some information about him. This is Ramesh Raskar. He is an associate professor at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology Media Lab. He is known for his co-invention of an ultra-fast imaging camera that can see around corners, low-cost eye care solutions. He had finished his engineering education from the College of Engineering Pune and had completed his PhD at UNC Chapel Hill. He holds over 75 patents and has written more than 120 reviewed publications. The annual Lemelson MIT Prize is administered by the School of Engineering at the MIT. It was endowed in the year 1994 by Jerome H. Lemelson, the award honors U.S. inventors who are mid-career and trying to improve the world through science and technology. The winner receives U.S. dollar 5 million, making it the largest cash prize for invention in the U.S. Now let us see question number 5. Name the captain and the team which has won the Dalip Trophy Cricket Tournament 2016. These are the four options. And the correct answer is Gautam Gambhir and the name of the team is India Blue. Now here is some information about this. The 2016-17 was 55th season of the Dalip Trophy. In the final match held in Greater Noida, India Blue defeated India Red, captained by Yuvraj Singh, by a massive 355 runs. 
The Duleep Trophy is a domestic first class cricket tournament played between teams representing geographical zones of India. The tournament was instituted in the year 1961-62 by BCCI. The tournament is named after Kumar Shri Dulip Singh ji of Navanagar. It was contested by three teams namely India Red, India Blue and India Green. In the year June 2016, the Board of Control of Cricket in India that is BCCI had changed the feature of tournament featuring day and night matches and to be played with a pink ball. Now the question number 6. Name the politician presently a member of the Rajya Sabha who has been conferred the Tamil Ratna award. These are the four options. The correct answer is Subramanian Swami. Friends, this is Subramanian Swami. He was bestowed with this award for fighting corruption and for working for more transparency in the functioning of the government. Some of the previous recipients of the Tamil Ratna award include Music composer A.R. Rahman, Bharat Natyam exponent Kamla Lakshman, Tamil movie director Bharti Raja and mathematician Srinivasa Vardhan. Now the seventh question. Which national day is celebrated on the 14th of September? These are the four options and let us see the correct answer. Hindi Divas. Hindi Divas is celebrated on the 14th of September. Now why is Hindi day celebrated observance of the day seeks to propagate Hindi language and its cultural heritage and values it also seeks to promote the matrabhasha that is mother tongue of india and show its importance as a language in the country and the world at large on this occasion the president pranab mukherjee will present the rajbhasha awards at the rashtrapati bhavan the day is also celebrated in schools colleges offices organizations and other enterprises as a hindi divas with the unique programs and competitions organized related to hindi poems story recitations and vocabulary quizzes The eighth question is name the joint military training exercise between India and US. The correct answer out of these four options is Yudh Abhyas. Yudh Abhyas 2016 is one of the longest running joint military training and a major ongoing bilateral defense cooperation. The joint military training exercise between India and the United States has begun in Chaubatia in Uttarakhand. It is the 12th edition of the joint military exercise hosted alternately by the two countries. The two week exercise will witness participation of about 225 personnel of Congo Brigade of the Indian Army and a similar strength of the US Army. Now the ninth question is you have to name the city which is the venue for the third BRICS urbanization meet. The correct answer out of these four options is Vishakhapatnam. The three day conference was inaugurated by the Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister N Chandrababu Naidu in the presence of Union Minister of Urban Development M Venkaiah Naidu. In this edition of the conference the delegates from the BRICS nations BRICS stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. So the delegates from these countries are participating. During the 3 day deliberations they will discuss investments, urbanization, formation of new cities and others. The conference will also discuss how to increase the productivity how to make a separate urban finance system and creation of employment opportunities based on the discussions and deliberations visag declaration will be prepared which will play a vital role in ministers conference of brics to be held on october 15 and 16 2016 in goa question number 10 Name the winner of the Durand Cup football 2016. The correct answer out of these four given options is Army Green. 
Army Green has won the 2016 Durand Cup football title by defeating Naroka FC. It was the 128th edition of the Durand Cup. The Durand Cup is a prestigious football tournament of India. It is the oldest football tournament in Asia and third oldest in the world after Football Association Cup of England and Scotland Football Association Cup. Let us come to question number 11. Name the Indian woman who has won a silver medal in shot put at the 2016 Rio Paralympics. Out of these four given options, the correct answer is Deepa Malik. Students, this is Deepa Malik. She has created history by winning a silver medal in the women's shot put at the 2016 Rio Paralympics. With this, she becomes the first Indian woman to win a medal at the Paralympics. It is India's third medal in the ongoing Paralympics Games at the Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Now let us come to question number 12. Name the Indian who has won a gold medal in javelin throw at the 2016 Rio Paralympics. Out of these four options, the correct answer is Devendra Jajaria. Students, this is Devendra Jajaria. He has won a gold medal in the men's javelin throw event held at the 2016 Rio Paralympics. With this, he becomes only the second gold medalist at the Paralympics for the country. He had also secured the gold medal in the javelin event at the 2004 Athens Paralympics. With this, he also became first Indian Paralympian to win two gold medals at the Paralympics. Let us go to the next question. Question number 13. Name the winner of the men's singles US Open title. Now these are the four options and the correct answer is Stan Wawrinka. Stan Wawrinka, he is world number three from Switzerland, has won the 2016 US Open men's singles title. This is his maiden US Open title and his third major title. In the final match, he defeated Novak Jovic from Serbia by 6-7, 6-4, 7-5 and 6-3 score. Question number 14. Name the winner of the women's singles US Open title. Out of these four given options, the correct answer is the first one. Angelic Kerber. Angelic Kerber from Germany has won the 2016 US Open Women's Singles title. In the final match, she defeated Karolina Silkova of Czech Republic by 6-3, 4-6, 6-4 score. Question number 15. You have to name the winner of the Men's Doubles US Open title. And the correct answer is the last one. Jamie Murray from United Kingdom and Bruno Soares from Brazil. These are the winners of the men's doubles title. In the final match, they defeated Spanish pair of Pablo Quereno Busta and Gulromo Garcia Lopez by 6-2, 6-3 score. Question number 16. Name the online scheme launched by CBDT, that is the Central Board of Direct Taxes for redressal of grievances. The correct answer out of these four options is e Nivaran. Students, the e Nivaran scheme was launched as a part of CBDT's initiative to reduce instances of harassment of the public when it comes to complaints related to the IT department. Using this facility, taxpayers can register their complaints through their personal computer systems. The e Nivaran form will also be provided at the Aikar Sampar Kendras, that is the tax facilitation center in a physical form, which will later fed into the system by the tax officials. Now here is the 17th question. Where has the world's first daily driverless service started? Out of these four options, the correct answer is Lyon, France. 
The world's first daily driverless bus service has started in Lyon, France, which will run in the Confluence area. There are two electric shuttles that will transport passengers on a 10-minute route hosting five stops. They can hold up to 15 passengers and are electric buses. It has features like LIDAR, radar technology and motion sensors which help to avoid accidents. Question number 18. Name the helpline launched by the union government for power outages. So the correct answer is Urja Mitra. The government of India has launched Urja Mitra through which residents can get information about the power situation in their area. This helpline is for pan-India usage. Besides, Power Finance Corporation on behalf of the Union Power Ministry has developed the Urja Mobile app. It will enhance consumer connect with power distribution companies. Using it, consumers can get information on outages, complaint redressal, timely release of connections and power reliability among others. Question number 19 is, who has won India's first gold medal at the Rio Paralympics in high jump event? So the correct answer out of these four options is Mariyappan Thangavelu. Students, this is Mariyappan Thangavelu who is an Indian Paralympic high jumper. He is India's first Paralympian gold medalist since the year 2004. In March 2016, he cleared a distance of 1.78 meters in the men's high jump T42 event at the IPC Grand Prix in Tunisia, qualifying him for the Rio Paralympics. At the Rio Paralympics, he won the gold medal in the men's high jump T42 finals with a leap of 1.89 meters. Question number 20. Name the host country for the Asian Summit 2016. Out of these four options, the correct answer is the first one, Laos. The Asian Summit is a semi-annual meeting held by the members of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations in relation to economic and cultural development of these countries. The League of Asian is currently connected with other countries who aim to participate on the missions and visions of the League. Apparently, the League is conducting an annual meeting with other countries in an organization collective known as the Asian Dialogue Partners. Asian plus three adds China, Japan and South Korea. Question number 21. Name the site where the LIGO lab is being set up in India. The correct answer out of these four options is the first one, Hingoli, Maharashtra. Now students, what is LIGO? LIGO stands for Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, which is a large-scale physics experiment and observatory to detect cosmic gravitational waves and to develop gravitational wave observations as an astronomical tool. It will be the third such lab in the world and first one outside the United States. The existing two labs are located in Hanford in Washington and Livingston in Louisiana. Question number 22. Name the bank which has introduced software robotics for power banking. Now, the correct answer out of these four options is the ICICI. India's ICICI bank has successfully deployed software robotics for power banking operations. With this, it becomes the first bank in the country and among few globally to deploy the software robotics. The business processes include retail banking operations, agribusiness, trade and foreign exchange, treasury and human resources management among others. The software robots can perform over 10 lakh banking transactions every working day. Question number 23. Name the advanced weather satellite successfully launched by ISRO. The correct answer out of these four given options is the last one, 
इनसेट थ्री डी आर स्टूडेंट्स इनसेट थ्री डी आर सिमिलर टू इनसेट थ्री डी इज एन एडवांस्ड मेट्रोलॉजिकल सेटेलाइट ऑफ इंडिया कॉन्फिगर्ड विद एन इमेजिंग सिस्टम एंड एन एटमोस्फेरिक साउंडर द सिग्निफिकेंट इम्प्रूवमेंट इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन इनसेट थ्री डी आर आर इमेजिंग इन मिडिल इंफ्रा रेड बैंड टू प्रोवाइड नाइट टाइम पिक्चर्स ऑफ लो क्लाउड्स एंड फॉग इमेजिंग इन टू थर्मल इंफ्रा रेड बैंड फॉर एस्टिमेशन ऑफ सी सर्फेस टेम्परेचर विद बेटर एक्यूरेसी हायर स्पेशल रेजोल्यूशन इन द विजिबल एंड थर्मल इंफ्रा रेड बैंड एंड लाइक इट्स प्री डिसेसर इनसेट थ्री डी इनसेट थ्री डी आर कैरीज अ डेटा रिले ट्रांसपोंडर एज वेल एज अ सर्च एंड रेस्क्यू ट्रांसपोंडर दस इनसेट थ्री डी आर विल प्रोवाइड सर्विस कॉन्टीन्यूटी टू अर्लियर मेट्रोलॉजिकल मिजन ऑफ आई एस आर ओ एंड फर्दर ऑगमेंट द कैपेबिलिटी टू प्रोवाइड वेरियस मेट्रोलॉजिकल एज वेल एज सर्च एंड रेस्क्यू सर्विसेज क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर नेम दैप थ्रू विच Driving license and vehicle registration have been integrated. So the correct answer is DigiLocker. DigiLocker is a digital locker service launched by the government of India in February 2015 to provide a secure, dedicated personal electronic space for storing the documents of resident Indian citizens. The storage space is a maximum of 10 MB at the time of launching. and now it has been upgraded to 1 gb it is linked to the unique identification authority of india that is your aadhar number the space can be utilized for storing personal documents like university certificates pan cards voter id cards etc and the e documents issued by various issuer departments the next question number 25 when is the international literacy day celebrated The correct answer is September eight. September eight was proclaimed as the International Literacy Day by UNESCO on November seventeen, nineteen sixty-five. Its aim is to highlight the importance of literacy to individuals, communities, and societies. On the International Literacy Day each year, UNESCO reminds the international community of the status of literacy. and adult learning globally celebrations take place around the world the theme for the year 2016 was reading the past writing the future question number 26 which campaign has been launched by the union government to promote the use of natural gas in india students the correct answer is the second option gas for india campaign Dharmendra Pradhan the Union Minister of State for Petroleum and Natural Gas has recently launched Gas for India campaign in New Delhi to promote the use of natural gas in India besides this he also launched the website twitter handle facebook page and theme song of the campaign the gas for india is a unified cross country multimedia multi event campaign to communicate the national social economic and ecological benefits of using natural gas as a fuel of choice to every citizen who uses or will use in the near future the campaign includes social engagement via twitter facebook youtube linkedin and its official blog site as well as hyper local offline events to directly connect with consumers through discussions workshops and cultural events The next question number 27 where was the 2016 G20 summit held the correct answer out of these four options is the first one hangzhou china the 2016 group of 20 that is the G20 summit was held in hangzhou china from 4th to 5th september 2016 to discuss efforts to reform global economic governance The theme of the G20 summit was toward an innovative, invigorated, interconnected and inclusive world economy. G20 leaders have pledged to continue to work for a globally fair and modern international tax system, foster growth and refrain from competitive devaluation of currencies. 
They agreed at the summit that refugees are a global issue and the burden must be shared. They called for strengthening humanitarian assistance for refugees. The 2017 G20 summit will be held in Hamburg, Germany from 7 to 8 July 2017. Question number 28. Which Indian film won the Best Film Award at the first BRICS Film Festival? The correct answer is Tithi. Indian film Tithi has won the Best Film Award at the first BRICS Film Festival concluded in New Delhi. The film festival had opened in New Delhi on 2nd September 2016. Tithi is a dramatic comedy Kannada film co-written and directed by Ram Reddy. It is about how three generations of sons react to the death of the oldest man in their clan named Century Gowda who is a locally renowned, highly cantankerous, 101-year-old man. Question number 29. Which conservationist among these won the prestigious 2016 Heritage Heroes Award of the IUCN? The correct answer out of these options is Vibhuti Lahkar. Assam-based ecologist and conservation activist Vibhuti Lakar won the prestigious Heritage Heroes Award of the International Union for Conservation of Nature. With this, he became the first Asian to win this prestigious environmental award. He was presented this award at the IUCN's ongoing World Conservation Congress. For the past two decades, Lakar has been working to save the grasslands, flora and fauna of Manas National Park area. Currently, he is engaged as Manas Landscape Administrator for Aranyak, an NGO working for biodiversity conservation in Northeast India. He has intensively studied grasslands of Manas and is globally recognized as an expert in threatened flora and fauna of the Terai region along southern foothills of the Himalayas. He was also instrumental in connecting Manas Wildlife Sanctuary with the Royal Manas National Park in Bhutan. Connecting them has led to a system of transboundary wildlife monitoring which now supports management in entire Manas natural area that spreads across India and Bhutan. He also has conducted the first GIS survey of the Manas and his research findings and recommendations were critical component in the Manas Tiger Conservation Plan. Question number 30. Who took the charge as the 24th RBI Governor? The correct answer is Urjit Patel. Eminent economist, consultant and banker Dr. Urjit Patel has assumed charge as the 24th Governor of the RBI. Prior to this appointment, he was Deputy Governor of the RBI. He is the 8th Deputy Governor earlier in August 2016. His appointment committee of cabinet chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi had approved the appointment of Dr. Patel. His appointment was based on the recommendation of the Financial Sector Regulatory Appointments Search Committee headed by the Cabinet Secretary. For the first time, he was appointed as the Deputy Governor of RBI in January 2013 for three-year term and was later reappointed on January 2016. He had headed committee to review the monetary policy framework and had proposed monetary policy committee to set interest rates. He also had worked as a consultant to the Union Ministry of Finance from 1998 to 2001. Question number 31. Name the city which became the first Wi-Fi hotspot village in Haryana. Out of these four options, the correct answer is Gumthala Garhu. Gumthala Garhu village near Pehova in Kurukshetra district in Haryana became the first Wi-Fi hotspot village in Haryana circle. The service was inaugurated by Chief Minister Manohar Lal from Chandigarh under the bulk plan of BSNL to provide internet services to rural areas. 
the Wi-Fi hotspot facility at the village uses bandwidth of 10 Mbps through BSNL's state-of-the-art network. In this hotspot, data can be accessed by multiple users simultaneously. 10 outdoor and 1 indoor access points have been installed to cover the village. The coverage from each access point is about 100 meters. Question number 32. Name the largest river island in the world declared by Guinea's world records. The correct answer is Majuli. The Guinea's world records has officially designated Assam's Majuli as the largest river island in the world. It is situated in the Brahmaputra River. The river island covering an area of around 880 square kilometer has toppled the previous record held by Brazil's Marajo Island in the Amazon River. The fluvial riverine island is formed by the Brahmaputra River system. It is surrounded by Subanisri River in the north, main Brahmaputra River on the south and Kerkatiya Suli split channel of Brahmaputra River in northeast. The island has total 144 villages with a population of over 1,60,000 and a density of 300 individuals per square kilometer. Question number 33. Name the scientist who successfully sequenced DNA in the space aboard the International Space Station. Out of these four options, the correct answer is Kate Rubens. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, that is NASA, for the first time has successfully sequenced DNA in space aboard the International Space Station. The genome sequencing was undertaken for the first time in microgravity as part of the biomolecular sequencer experiment performed by NASA astronaut Kate Rubens. This experiment provides a way to sequence DNA in space which can help astronauts to diagnose any illness. Besides, it will also help them identify microbes growing in the ISS to determine whether or not they represent a health threat. The future explorers can potentially use the technology to identify DNA-based life forms beyond the Earth. Question number 34. Name the person who has not received the prestigious Ramon Magsese Prize for the year 2016. The correct answer is Sanjeev Chaturvedi. Two Indians, T.M. Krishna and Bezwada Wilson have received the prestigious Ramon Magsese Prize for the year 2016. They were among the six persons or organizations who received the prestigious award often regarded as Asia's Nobel Prize. The award ceremony was held at the Cultural Center of Philippines in Pasay City, Manila on, on August 31, 2016. That is on the birth anniversary of former Filipino President Ramon Magsaysay. Now some information about Bezwada Wilson. He is the national convener of the Safai Karamchari Andolan. He was awarded for asserting the inalienable right to a life of human dignity. He has done remarkable work in liberating scores of people engaged in manual scavenging across the country. Thodur Madhabusi Krishna. He is a Carnatic music vocalist. He was bestowed with this award ensuring social inclusiveness in culture. Question number 35. Name the political party which has recently granted the national party status by the election commission. Out of these four options, the correct answer is All India Trinamool Congress. The election commission of India has granted national party status to All India Trinamool Congress party led by West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. The party has fulfilled the required conditions to become a national party after getting status of state party in four states. The TNC is ruling the West Bengal government and has its presence in northeastern states Manipur, Arunachal Pradesh and Tripura. With this recognition, TNC becomes seventh national party in the country along with the BJP, the Congress, the Bahujan Samaj Party, the Nationalist Congress Party, 
the Communist Party of India and the Communist Party of India Marxist. Thank you friends for watching this. I hope it was useful to you. Do subscribe to our channel Success CDs Education.